Hello everyone, this is Sun Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series, Infinity Saga, uh, Avengers Infinity War, Captain America, this is the redo, we've gotten this figure once, but it's, I really do, right, I prefer this one over the other one that we got, um, but yeah, so this is from the Infinity Saga, so let's go over the packaging first, so first we get the Avengers Infinity War logo here, Marvel Legends logo here, Infinity Saga logo here, Captain America, Avengers symbol here. Here's the cider that we've been seeing with all the Avengers, I mean, the Infinity Saga waves figures. And then here we get a poster of the Avengers Infinity War. We get a description of Captain America, Captain America Marvel Legends logo. Here's the other side of that side art. Here is the top with the Avengers Infinity War logo and Captain America labeled there. And here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Captain America out of the package here. So let's go over the accessories first. First, we get an extra head sculpt here. And this is him with the uh, the uh, grin. You get to see the teeth here. He looks pissed. Uh, I would say the beard looks a little weird, I think. But I don't know. And yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot more like Chris Evans than the last one that we got. I have it, so we'll do a comparison near the end, though. But the beard looks good. You get some brown. And then you get some darker brown for giving it more depth. I do wish they give uh, the hair a little bit more depth too. Instead of just flat out brown. It kind of looks like it's flat out brown. Yeah, it does. But yeah, that's the head sculpt there. We get two fisted hands here. So you get the brown gloves with the knuckles open. And then fingerless gloves. You get darker brown for the palms. And then you get the Wakandan shields, one with the open, when it's open, and more like, you know, more like a shield. You get this nice silver here, and then you get these nice silver lines here. And then here you get the handle here for Captain America, and they kind of articulate, but I'd recommend just being careful because they could easily snap off. And you put his forearm through that. And then here's the other one where it's closed. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I do wish they kind of painted the sharp parts silver like they did with this part. That's the one thing that probably it throws me off just a little bit, but yeah, they're pretty cool though. And then that's all we got for accessories. So here is Captain America up close. So this is him with his regular face on. It looks a whole lot like Chris Evans compared to the last one, like I said. Uh, this is like his calm face. You get the blue eyes, you get the beard. Uh, you can see that it's not as... Uh, clean shaved I mean not quite like you know clean cut because you can see that the beard kind of goes over that line there And then like I said flat brown for the hair whereas the beard that gave it more depth I will say I don't like the color of the uniform too much. I prefer the color that of the uniform from the last one that we got so yeah, that's a little oof, but Yeah, you get the star taken off there, but this is blacked out uh, the blue is too light. They should have went with a darker blue like the last one did. Same thing with the reds. Those are too bright, I think. Um, and the white could have been a little bit dirtier. But you get the uh, sleeves rolled up. You get this, like, piece for the gloves here. And then you get the open hands. I think those are for the handles for that shield there. And then you get this belt piece here with this nice light brown for leather. And then you get the darker brown. And you get the belt buckle. And then you get this like strap here for a shield that I used to have. Get that buckle there for that. And I really like that detailing on it actually. You get to see like all these silver pieces here. You get the darker browns here. You get the lighter brown here. Buckle here. It's really cool. Nice detailing. And then here are the pants. You get the red stripes. These are reused uh, pants. These are new arms as you can see because they don't have the pinned joints. So... That's nice. And then here's the boots that we've seen many times. So and then you get the treads for that. So it look, looks pretty good. And here's the backside of the legs. So let's go over the articulation. So he's a disc ball joint ahead. He can look down just that far. He can look up just that far, left and right. A uh, little head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go that far. Wrists can hinge down. 
that far, up that far, 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch that can go forward that much, backwards that much, 360 rotation here. Legs can kick out that far, forward that far, pretty good. Backwards none, thigh cut, double jointed knees. You got a boot cut for him, ankles can hinge. It's kind of stiff right now. We'll do the other one because I don't want to break it. Hinge down that far, and now it's kind of stuck. And up that far, nice angle pivot. And to put on the shields, they're kind of tough. So there's multiple ways they can do this. Like you can take off the hands and just kind of and put, plug it back in when you get the forearm there. Or you could just kind of shove it in there and kind of try to get the fingers around that handle here. But other ways, if you can't and you just don't want to mess with it, you could just let it hang like that. I think it's good enough. But yeah. So here is the Infinity Saga Captain America next to the uh, Builder Figure Thanos Captain America. And obviously you can see the difference. The color is different. This one's bright, whereas this one's darker. I prefer the color palette on this one. But the face sculpt is the thing that everyone hates about it. And also the Wakandan shield for this one. This is based off the concept art, which I understand. But I really do prefer these. And plus he only came with one. So yeah. But I will say I prefer the mold on this one, but I prefer the color palette on this one. So yeah, that's the Infinity Saga Captain America for you. I really like this figure. I just wish they went with a different color palette for his suit because it's a little more dirtier in the movie and it's a bit darker. So yeah, that would have been smarter to do, but I guess, I'm guessing you could probably switch off the heads, but then you don't get the other uh, gloves for him. So it's kind of meh. I mean, I like the head sculpt and everything. It's great. I just wish they did the colors different for the suit. But besides that, I think it's an awesome figure. Um, he's better than the last one that we got, I think. So I will say that for sure. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for this figure, really. Uh, I don't have any complaints besides the color palette for him. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree, it has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter if you want to help support me on those. But besides that, thanks for watching me.